Oh there, friends, don't fall. Better? I'm going to try and use our really um, nice picture-taking camera to be able to do a video. And the reason why I don't normally use this camera is because, one, it's really Ryan's, and two, um, it goes in and out of focus all the time when I put it on video settings. So when you're walking around a lot and changing light and all that, it doesn't seem to do well. But I thought maybe it would do okay with me holding still. So, hello. Um, <clears throat> I think I will do a slew of videos today, as many as I can get away with since it's Ryan's day off and he can help Mabel wrangle. He's singing Regina Spector in the bathroom, but I don't think you guys can hear him. Um, and so you'll probably see this outfit a lot. Um, mm -mm. So let's have a little chitty chat. But let's look in my YouTube book, because I really did just turn on the camera without much of a plan. Hmm. Scarlet six month video. I'm not going to put up, I mean her five month video, five to six months. I'm going to put that one up next. That will be right after this. I'm not going to put up her four month one yet just because it's so like I wasn't planning on doing that. So it's like, meh. it's not a lot of good shots. He's singing. I'm sorry. Do you know who Regina Spector is? Think of Ryan singing that. It's a bit high and funny and vibrato. <laughs> um, okay. So, let's talk about what I just told Louise. Louise and I were just Skyping, and I was talking to her while she was, um, oh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so, I can't do this video if he's going to sing. If you guys can't hear him, then you don't know what I'm dealing with. He stopped. Okay. Uh, um, now he's whistling. Damn it. <laughs> like my hair flowery? He's whistling, and you can't hear him, but I'm dancing to him singing. All right, here's uh, my little story. So I have no shame, and I wish, I wish I did. I wish I was one of those people that felt like I needed to get put together to go outside of the house. But if I want dinner, I usually want it more than I want people to go, oh, wow, look at her. She's a well-dressed lady. So I will go wearing my faded black cotton stretchy pant things, and... Um, a shirt that clings to me in the wrong way and no makeup except for possibly yesterday's mascara like underneath my eyes go and grab dinner and then come back well it is inevitable and it has happened many times now that that is the day that is the time and that is the moment when some man decides to hit on me and I have no idea why because if I'm dressed like this with like earrings and you know some jewelry on a little bit of makeup on a hair flower in my hair nobody notices Oh, which is fine. I go on my merry way and just feel like, okay, well, I'm put together and I can do my tasks. But whenever I am completely disheveled, have a gravelly voice because I haven't spoken much yet that day, that's the time when somebody's like, hey there. So my story this time is, yesterday, I went to Trader Joe's. And the checkout man at Trader Joe's started chatting up, you know, about nothingness. And I just went on with the, like, okay, customer service talk. He was like, how's your day going? And I think I was like, good. And he said, did you find everything you needed? And I went, yeah. And then he said, are you getting stuff t re together for dinner? And I was like, mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, one word answers. You're, I'm not getting much from you, am I? So I looked up for a second, looked down, and said, oh, I'm too tired for more than one word answers. He's like, oh, now I got you. Now you're chatting with me. Like, that was a whole sentence or something like that. And he gets all lit up. So I finally look up at him and realize, is he being really customer service-y? Which they are at Trader Joe's. They're very happy people. Or is he flirting with me? And so I look at him for a second, and he winks, and he smiles some more, and he has huge, huge, huge smile. And I don't know what to do, and I immediately start thinking about everything that I look like at that moment, and why has he decided to flirt with me. While I'm thinking about myself, selfishly, I'm not listening to what he's talking about, but he's going on and on and on. And I'm, like, doing my pin number and stuff like that, and I'm thinking, am I wearing pajamas? I think I might be wearing pajamas. Did I actually leave the house wearing pajamas and this man has decided to hit on me? And then I'm thinking about it and I'm like, no, okay, I think I have, oh, faded black exercise pants. Close enough. Could be pajamas. Then I'm like, what shirt am I wearing? Not only was I wearing, like, the wrong bra, so it's, my shirt was really clingy and rather lumpy because of my bra, but also... Um, somehow, in the cloth diapering land, I took off one of Scarlett's diapers, a dirty, very dirty diaper, and went to put it in my little antibacterial pocket, and I somehow smudged poop onto, baby poop, 
onto the handle of the diaper bag. So then when I went to put the handle up over my shoulder, smudge of poop on my shoulder. Not like a little bit, but like a noticeable gross smear. So that's there. Lumpy bits are everywhere. I'm wearing really faded gross pants. I do have mascara underneath my eyes and my hair looks like I took a bunch of dried out hay and mashed it up, put it on top of my head and tied it together with some sort of twine or something. That's This is what I look like. No makeup on at all. And I don't know, I think you guys can probably tell, especially in this HD video, but I have a scar on my lip and my scar um, is, it, something's happened since pregnancy has been over and it's just changing a little bit. So I'm like super hypersensitive to what I look like as this man is yammering on. And then I finally tune in and realize I have no idea what he's been talking about for the past four minutes at all. All I'm doing is thinking about poop on my shoulder and everything that I look like. And so then I tune back in and he has asked me to go on his crabbing boat with him. He tells me he catches fresh crab and he likes to go crabbing and wants to know if I want to go out crabbing with him sometime. Well, I had finished my whole transaction and didn't know what to say, so I said, mm, my husband's allergic to shellfish, and then said, have a good day, and popped off. But anyway, that's my story. Does it happen to you? No, I didn't have the baby with me. But I did have the wedding ring on my finger. In fact, I'm rocking them both on one hand. So, does that happen to you guys? You get all dolled up and nobody's like, oh, look, she looks nice. What a fancy lady. But then you look like absolute and total kaput. Hello, man. And that's when they're like, hey, maybe it's because I'm more approachable. I don't know. All right, more videos soon. I thought I'd put something up. Ryan, you, you don't have clothes on, darling, and now you're in a video. What are we going to do with that? Yeah.